YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, we've got a pretty big leak regarding the September Fall expansion for Destiny 2. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love leaks, okay? Whether they come true or not, I still love them because they're really interesting, whether people come up with this stuff on their own, or they piece together things through lore or whatever. Anyway, this leak sounds amazing and kind of plausible based on the way things are going with regards to the lore and also Destiny 2. Well, Destiny 2's current life cycle right now and where we're heading, and I think we know where we're going to be going this coming September. Now, like all leak videos, okay, I always got to preface it with, you got to take it with a grain of salt, okay? And with that, that's where I need you guys to help me out in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section. One, do you think it's BS and tell me why? Or two, do you think it might be plausible and tell me why as well? I'm always curious and you guys know that I love talking with you guys in the comment section. Anyway, let's get into the video guys. If you enjoy it, a like rating does help me out, especially now that my channel is back from being hacked last week. So I need to get back in the YouTube algorithm, so to speak. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you really want to help the channel out, become a channel member. We've got an awesome Mesa Army Destiny 2 channel member Discord community. And also we've got a Mesa Army clan that the channel members put together themselves. So let's get into the video. And here's our good old pyramid ships, which uh, I've been fascinated by ever since we first saw them. Or at least in concept art, that is. Way, way back uh, when Destiny 1 even launched. And this leak does revolve around the pyramid ships. And uh, we, well, safe to say Bungie's been teasing us all along. And we finally saw our first pyramid uh, hidden in the moon. And I did point out in last week's video that if you look at the map of the solar system where you see the pyramids lit up uh, after the cutscene, I'm going to show the cutscene here in a second here, um, when you see some pyramids light up uh, all the way out in the solar system, one of the little dots is missing. And my hypothesis is that that dot that's missing, that's a broken off pyramid ship. And that's the one that is over on the moon. Let's talk about matter. What is matter? I never talked about this actually in any news video, so we're going to go over it now. Because um, it's going to play into what this leaker is telling us. Now, Matter is an IP that Bungie trademarked back in September of 2018. So, what is Matter exactly? Well, I've got an article from GameRat.com, and we're going to piece together something about what they say, and then also one of the Bungie directors and how they changed their Twitter profile after Activision pulled out of the Bungie agreement. So, anyway, they say Matter. The title of this new IP could be Matter which Bungie filed a trademark for with the European Union in September of 2018. Outside of the name and this logo, there is very little to go on based on the art alone, but it does have a much different tone than the title art that Bungie has released for the Destiny franchise. They also go on to say competitive multiplayer game, question mark, and they say taking a look at Bungie's career page on its website shows that the developer is clearly staffing up for this new IP with a new crop of job postings that clearly state these positions are part of developing quote, new projects at Bungie. On almost nearly every one of these job postings, there is a quote, nice to have skill that says something like experience and love for competitive games. Just stay with me. This is all going to make sense in a little bit when we get into the leak. They continue with, for longtime fans of Bungie, especially of its original Halo games, this could be exciting news. Halo was a fantastic competitive game that let players put their skill to the test against one another in a balanced environment. Bungie built a pedigree during its years developing Halo in supporting this kind of competitive environment with skill rankings and bragging rights for the most skilled of its games. On the flip side, Destiny and Destiny 2 have been somewhat of a nightmare when it comes to achieving true balance in PvP with the game naturally having a push and pull between its weapons and armor that move freely between PvE and PvP with much of this gear creating an environment that's literally impossible to truly balance where the only thing that triumphs is player skill. So for players who miss a balanced competitive experience designed by Bungie, this game could be much anticipated. Now another thing to keep in mind also is there's a company based in China called NetEase and they invested a hundred million dollars and they even have, I believe, a seat on the board of directors at Bungie. Now what that investment is for, I don't know. 
Supposedly, the company NetEase is really, uh, I think, focused on mobile games, I think. But who knows where that $100 million could go? Could it go into Destiny, or is it going to be going into this Matter IP? We'll have to see. You let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's start putting some pieces together. So, Christopher Barrett, Game Director at Bungie. Now, he did not always have this as his Twitter profile. Prior to the Activision pullout, it said something else, and I think it said Game Director on Redacted at Bungie, and I think it said Destiny in there. I wish I had screenshots. I used to have screenshots of it. Then out of nowhere, I think after the Activision pullout, he changed it to a colorful icon that kind of resembled what we see in the Matter image. Now, prior to all of this, let's set the calendar back before Activision pulled out, and we all thought we were getting a Destiny 3 at some point within 2020 or 2021. Word around the campfire was Christopher Barrett was going to be the game director for Destiny 3. That was not set in stone. I think that was all just rumorville, but a pretty solid rumor that everyone believed, including myself. I don't know. I mean, I know him personally, but I never had the conversation with him like, hey, are you working on Destiny 3? No. But that was the rumor for the longest time was he was the director on Destiny 3. And his Twitter profile was indeed, well, something related to Destiny. Or at least I believe. Damn, I wish I had those screenshots. Anyway, where I'm going with this is... Uh, it kind of leads back to, let's say, let's pretend this is all true, that he was indeed the director on Destiny 3. And then now they have Matter, this other IP they're working on, and it's going to play into the leak because what was supposed to be in Destiny 3 looks like it might be coming this fall, actually. There's a Twitch streamer named Sweatsicle. I'm sure you're familiar with him. Streams a lot of Destiny 2. I will link him in the description. So he tweeted out the leak, and we're going to go over it now. And he says, take it for what you want, but someone sent me a leak from 4chan about the upcoming fall content. Seems plausible. If true, sounds pretty dope. Now, I had a friend, and I know you're like, get to the leak already, Sean. I'm sorry. I wanted to set this all up, guys, because it's going to make sense. I had a friend who I, I kind of lost touch with, actually. He used to leak me tons of stuff, and I never, ever talked about it because... I just took it with a grain of salt, but he was damn right on every single thing that he leaked to me and told me, but I just never made videos on it because I just, I was like, this is probably BS, but he was right. A lot of this stuff lines up with stuff he told me a while back, and if it's true, it looks like some of the stuff they had planned for Destiny 3 might be coming this fall within Destiny 2, the collapse, or whatever this post is calling it. So let's get into it finally, and this sounds so cool, and I I really hope this comes to fruition. So, they started off with, the reason why Bungie has a skeleton crew working on Destiny 2 right now is due to them working on both their Matter IP and the big upcoming D2 fall expansion called Destiny 2 The Collapse. Now, I'm going to say that does sound plausible. I want to, like, comment on each one of these points here because that does sound plausible because, safe to say, it does seem like there is a skeleton crew working on Destiny 2 right now, especially with kind of the content routes that we're having from season to season. All right, next up, the expansion has been in the works for some time now, around two years, and was originally planned as part of Destiny 3 before being retooled midway through development. They continue, Destiny 2 Collapse is the big one, and story-wise, will focus on the first arrival of the Pyramid Ships. It's a very big, Forsaken-esque expansion that's nearly a game unto itself. Now, I'm going to say that kind of makes sense, because if point number two is true, they've been working on it for two years, more than likely we know we're getting a, well, some sort of big fall expansion like we do every September. So I'm going to say the first three bullet points, they're looking good so far. Moving along here, Darkness will finally be the main villain, front and center of the expansion. Very interesting character from what I've seen, and takes the form of a very ghostly veiled woman. Same look as the statue in the pyramid. It has a nickname of sort throughout the collapse as the Win Owner. This is starting to make sense because if we look at some old concept art, well, we see one of the pyramid ships in the background and we see the same womanly statues that we see at the end of the Shadow Keep campaign mission. So this is adding up so far, guys. Now, the expansion will focus around two destinations, Europa and the Finality, a massive city inside the Win Owner's core pyramid. Originally depicted in Destiny 2's vanilla concept art, but will finally be going there to put an end to the win owner. They continue with huge focus on darkness abilities, new darkness subclasses for each class respectively, 
Callus, Marasov, and Eris Morn are all significant presences throughout the Collapse's storyline. They continue with, another big takeaway are the Veil, and we've been hearing the term Veil for the enemy race for a very, very long time right now, so more than likely that's the name. And they say, essentially a long rumored race that's been in development for a long time. Got leaked by Shadow of Anon the Nine a while back, mostly from concept work. Now, there was Anon the Nine, there was Shadow of Anon the Nine, and they were all the serial leakers, and they got shut down, I think by Bungie. I don't know the full story. A lot of it's just rumor, but they were leaking a lot of stuff, and I think a lot of it did come true. Moving along here, the Veil are the first new truly alien enemy race to the series, and they say not counting the Scorn or the Taken. They continue with that they have a very H.R. Geiger ghostly aesthetic to them. Uh, Pick related is an extremely old D1 concept that heavily inspired their aesthetic. Now, I don't have that picture because I don't have the thread. Moving along here, the Veil have the most new units out of any race thus far and stand out being a large, earthy, golem-like creature. They continue with, it'll be revealed two months out from now in June, and the storyline is intended to segue right into Destiny 3. Alright, so that's where it gets a little fuzzy here, because I, I still think we're not in the works for Destiny 3 for a very long time, but we'll see. And then the last bullet point is, like Forsaken, Collapse will have a flagship raid revolving around a descent into the Wind Owner's domain, deep inside the Finality, that's gonna be the ship. Seems like as if we will be destroying the darkness in a physical form in this raid. And also, new strikes are coming. So, what do you guys think in the comment section? BS, and if you think BS, tell me why. If you think it might be true or seems plausible, let me know why also in the comment section. I'm kind of on the fence. You know, a lot of the stuff that I heard from other people and some other serial leakers, it a, a lot of it does line up, you know. And if Destiny 3 is not on the table, and this kind of was supposed to be the premise of Destiny 3, well, maybe this is going to be our September expansion. Who knows? But let me know in the comment section. So leave me a good old hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end. And do me a favor. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually know it's on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.